Madam Speaker, I am personally perplexed and lost, as are many Singaporeans, on the Lee family saga. However, this is not a Korean drama show. It is a serious matter because it affects the credibility of our entire country. The timing of the public blow-up of the private dispute is also unfortunate. At this juncture, the country faces serious challenges. Singapore is facing a tricky and volatile geopolitical situation, and the government has to navigate our small state between the South Central America and a more assertive China skillfully and carefully. We also seem to be vulnerable to the worsening security situation in the war against terrorism in Southeast Asia, with troubling cases of self-radicalization surfacing at home. We have only recently embarked on a critical transformation of Singapore economy and workforce to enable our companies and workers to seize the opportunities of technological destruction to stay competitive. We are still fixing persistent problems with our physical and social infrastructure, in particular, the recent continuous major MRT breakdowns. Although the Prime Minister has said this saga will not affect the work of the government, I am of the view that it is a serious distraction to the government in dealing with the serious challenges when the cabinet members all of them are not members of the Lee family, but have been unnecessarily drawn into the dispute, which to me is essentially a family dispute. 